machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Hi, kids. I'm Alice, the tractor. I'm the busiest machine on the farm. Tractors are the workhorses on the farm. In fact, workhorse is a good name to use for a tractor. We do the work that horses used to do. Today, I'm going to get the field ready for planting. See that fancy piece of equipment that I'm pulling? Those are plows. And not just one plow, I'm pulling six plows. Good morning, Alice. My plows are lined up and ready to work. If you lower us down, we'll begin. I hope you're feeling strong enough to pull all of us today. No problem. I have a powerful engine, Polly. I love the first run down the field. I always try to make the first row perfectly straight. If that furrow is straight, then all of the furrows will be straight. I'll have to smooth out the dirt a lot more before we can plant the seeds, Polly. But by autumn, There'll be a new crop in this field. I think it'll be corn or some other delicious food. Mm -mm. Smell that fresh earth, Alice. That's the smell of the country. It's wonderful. Round discs cut into the ground. My shiny plows behind them dig in and turn over the earth, making a furrow. When I turn over the earth, all the weeds get buried and turn into compost. Uh, that's a fancy word for food for dirt. Did you notice that I have two big tires on one side and only one on the other? That gives me extra grip so I can pull all of your plows, but it also spreads out my weight more evenly. Tractors are heavy, and I don't want to pack down the ground so hard that the earthworms can't get through. They're good for the dirt too. If you drive with one wheel in my furrow, that keeps all the other furrows straight as an arrow. Soon this field will be planted with seeds. Then at the end of the season, I'll be back to harvest the crop. But there are still plenty of other jobs to be done on the farm. Over in the next field, my friend Kubota is cutting the hay. He's a real hard worker. Hello, everybody. 
I do a lot of jobs around the farm, but right now, I'm gonna cut the hay. I have to attach a special machine called a hay bind. That pin locks it in place. Off we go. Chomp, 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 chomp. A hay bind is sort of like a giant lawnmower that can cut tall grass. Let me tell them. I can work and talk at the same time, you know. Okay, sorry. I thought you had your mouth full. Go ahead. Thank you. You see, kids, hay is really a special kind of grass. It's not like the grass on your front lawn. Farmers feed it to their cows and sheep and goats. You wouldn't want to eat hay, but a cow thinks it's a feast. I'm going to turn the corner here, Haybine, but keep talking. Wait a second. Let me switch over to the other side. Okay, swing my arm over, Kubota. Good. Now let's get cutting. I cut the hay down close to the ground, and I leave it to be picked up later. My reel is that round thing spinning around in front of me. That's a very important part because it does two jobs. It sweeps the hay into my cutters, and it also bends and creases the stalks and leaves and makes the hay dry out faster. That produces better food for the animals. See how I leave it in nice, neat rows? Hold on there. I think my good driving helps too. Well, naturally, we're a team. A hay vine like me can cut a lot of hay pretty quickly. With Kubota's help, of course. But I wouldn't be able to do any of this cutting if it wasn't for him. If he didn't pull me behind him, I would just be sitting at the side of the field watching the grass grow. Okay, Haybine. I have to leave this field for a little while. We'll finish cutting this hay later and let it dry in the sun. Right now, I have to gather up the hay we cut yesterday. This hay is pretty dry now. Are you ready to get to work, Baylor? Sure am. We've got to bale hay while the sun shines. <laughs> See how the hay has turned a lovely golden color, Baylor? It's dried out nicely on the ground. Haybine and I did such a great job making nice, neat rows for you. Excellent! Now, I gather it all up and roll it into bales. After I'm finished, the fields are clean as a whistle. Okay, stop, Kubota! Stop! It's ready! Look at that! Inside, where you couldn't see, I was rolling up the hay into a big round bale, kids! I have these little rakes that sweep up all the hay that is lying on the ground. Kubota, watch out for gopher holes! I'll be careful to steer around any holes or big stones. If one of your wheels hits a hole, my rake forks could dig into the ground and snap off. Are you watching? I'm watching. You can't see inside my compartment, 
but I'm rolling the hay round and round and tying it up with twine until it's a big fat bale. Does twine keep the bale together? Yes, siree. I pack it tightly so it won't come apart. And it's easier for tractors like you to pick up. That's good. Picking up the bales is another job of mine. I'm pretty fast rolling up the hay. That's a good thing, too. We've got to get it bailed up before the rain comes. Oh, I did a nice job on that bale. And this one, too. There's another bale finished. But let's keep moving. There's still a lot of hay that we have to pick up. Kabuta, why don't we sing our song? Okay. Oh, oh a farm, farm grows potatoes, hay and tomatoes, wheat and corn on the cob. So a farm, a farm needs combines, balers and hay binds, tractors that can, can do the job. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to do something right now, Baylor. I'll be back later. The next chore I have today needs another attachment. See that long spike mounted on my back? It's called a spin-off. I love this next job. It's my favorite chore around the farmyard. It's feeding time. This is always lots of fun. There's nothing more hilarious than a flock of hungry sheep. This bale of hay that I'm carrying is their lunch. I give it a spin, and it unravels a little bit at a time. That's why they call it a spin-off. These sheep love to see me coming. Some of them are just little lambs. Cute little critters, aren't they? Enjoy your lunch. Wagon! What? You're a hay wagon. It's a joke. Oh, okay. Come on, Slim. Just a little humor to brighten your day. Come on, we're trying to get these bales off the field before it rains. It's a good thing Baylor rolled these bales of hay good and tight so they don't fall apart when I pick them up. Get over there a bit. Hey, Slim, how do you like my spear? That's not a real spear. Of course not. I don't throw it. I use it to pick up bales of hay. We've got room for two more, Spike. Let's get those ones at the end of the field. Mm -hmm. 
You wouldn't think a bunch of rolled up grass could weigh so much, but these bales are heavy. Okay, I've got all I can carry. I better get going. See you later. I'll drop off these bales here. They're going on the wrapping machine. Put them on the wagon, take them off the wagon. It goes on all day. Hey, old stretcho. What's your name, anyway? stretch matic is the name. You can call me Stretch if you like. Just bring the hay if you please, Kubota. It's my job to wrap it in plastic so the hay will keep dry over the winter. Once it's wrapped, it doesn't have to go into the barn. It can stay in the field. Wrapping the hay is a great idea. Now it won't get wet and go moldy and rot. Here's another one, Stretch. Great. This'll take me about two seconds. Okay, okay. I'll hurry. These bales get wrapped all the way around. The plastic overlaps so there are about four layers. The wrapped bales roll off onto the ground, and then they push me forward. Come on, Kubota, next one. Okay, okay. I love watching you wrap these bales, Stretch. You're so fast. They disappear like magic. Thank you, thank you. And now for my next trick. I'll turn this hay into a pickle. Say that again? That's right, a pickle. All the layers of plastic that I wrap around the hay keep the air out. Without any air, the grass inside is preserved. It gets pickled and turns into what is called silage. Think of that. Pickled grass. Can you believe that cows and sheep would like pickles? Animals love silage, and it's very good for them. Well, I think your wrapping gizmo is pretty neat. Um, did you ever have a job wrapping sausages? No. Why do you ask? Well, by the time you're finished, <laughs> this is gonna look like one giant white sausage laying on the ground. Very funny, very funny, Kubota. Harvest time, kids. The wheat is ready to be cut. So I'm harvesting the crop in this field. I'm a harvesting machine called a combine. Do you know what a combine is? It's a machine that combines a lot of different tasks. Long ago, each job needed a different machine. A combine can do them all in one operation. Isn't that impressive? 
You see, the problem is, all the wheat is ripe and ready to be cut at the same time. So we have to work quickly. That's why combines like me are so useful. See what a big swath I can cut at one pass. When I harvest, I want to gather up only the grains of wheat, the small seeds that grow right at the top of the long stalk. Around the grain is a husk called chaff. I have to separate that bit from the grain. The rest of the plant is the stalk. It's called straw. My reel, that thing out in front turning around, guides the plants into my blades. I cut off the stalks close to the ground, and inside, I have bars that beat against the wheat plants. They really whack them. That separates the grains of wheat from the chaff and the straw. That's how the grain gets clean. Then it goes into my storage bin up on top. I can hold a lot of grain. See the stuff coming out the back? That's the straw. Straw is fine for animals to lie down on, but they don't eat it. I leave that behind on the ground. Maybe it will be picked up a little later. Or they may just leave it on the ground for compost. Ah, here's my partner, Combo. Hi, Combine. It sure is great harvesting weather. Blue sky, nice clouds. I love it during harvest. The wheat is nice and plump. It'll make good flour. And the flour will make great cookies. Are cookies made from wheat? Yeah. Kids love cookies. Wheat can make other things, too. Things like bread and pasta and cake. I'm filling up quickly. I'm going to need that tractor with the grain wagon soon. How about you? My storage bin is almost full. Here comes the tractor. Just in time. Hiya, Combine. I'm keeping busy running back and forth between the two of you and the grain hauling trucks. Boy, your bin's so full, it looks like it could spill over the top. Well, hurry up then. Get into position, and I'll unload in your wagon. Wow! Look at the grain pouring out of my spout. I'll drive along at the same speed as you, and we won't spill any of the grain. You don't even have to stop working, Combine. This is a pretty efficient operation. Turn off your spout, Combine. That's as much as I can take. Off you go. But hurry back. It doesn't take long for me to fill up again. I won't be long. I'm enjoying the sunshine and the cricket songs while I wait for the green wagon to come back. I can't go very fast in this field, Mac. The ground is too soft and uneven. I don't want to tip over and lose all of the wheat. Okay. I can't drive over to the combines because I'm too heavy for the ground. I'm just happy to wait for you to bring the grain to me. Fired into my back trailer. The front's already full. 
The wagon unloads pretty fast, so you'll be on your way soon. Finished. You'd better get going. Don't give those combines any excuse to stop wiking. I won't. I'm heading off to the green elevator with this load of wheat. Bye! Well, kids, I hoped you liked visiting all the big machines on the farm. And remember, farms are where your food comes from. So think of all of us big machines the next time you sit down to eat. So long for now. Mighty machines. Big and mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines. Lifting and pulling and flying so high. Building a building up to the sky. You can watch them all day and never know why they're mighty machines. Hear them roar, watch them soar. Sit right down and see. There are stories to enjoy for every girl and boy. Mighty machines. Big and mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines.